What is up guys, welcome back to Joe's Tech. So, sorry for the lack of updates lately. I've been super, super busy, but today I had a little bit of time to do a quick upgrade and so I thought I'd make a quick video. Uh, basically what I'm gonna be doing today is I have my EVGA GTX 1070 Superclocked Edition. Not sure if you guys have read or seen online lately, but there were reports of the EVGA uh, GTX 1080 uh, for the win edition overheating in like extreme circumstances and uh, you know so EVGA basically came out and said that uh, they did not include a specific set of thermal pads between uh, the VRMs and the uh, the back plate and so basically what they offered was two solutions one is just a VBIOS update that goes uh, and tells the car to basically pump up the fans I think it's like 400 RPMs um, so that's one option, and then the second option is they actually provide um, the thermal pads that they didn't include initially if you'd like to do that. Uh, as a third option, you can actually send your card out, I guess, and they'll do an RMA and replace it with another card that has those thermal pads installed. Uh, now EVGA is saying that the thermal pads aren't necessary, uh, that the VBIOS update should be able to you know, take care of any overheating issues that you'd find in those extreme circumstances. but. You know, uh, because they offered it for the 1080 for the win, they also offered it for the 1080 super clocked and the 1070 super clocked and for the win editions as well. So, uh, you know, because it was free, I went ahead and signed up and I ordered those parts. And so I got those in the mail the other day. So today I'm going to go ahead and take apart my card and put those in. Now, before I get to that part, I have been running probably for like uh, like an hour and a half or two hours now. Uh, I've been running the Future Mark uh, stress test on the card. And it hasn't gotten over 55 degrees Celsius, so I'm pretty sure this is going to have no effect on the 1070 owners, but I thought I would make a video because I don't think anybody else has for the 1070, uh, and I know a lot of people might be stressing out about, you know, if it's going to cause issues. And, you know, just for fun, I'll go ahead and run a benchmark afterward, or a stress test, I mean, afterward, and see, uh, you know, if there's any difference in the temperature before and after the thermal pads. Maybe it'll make a difference. There's really not a lot of heat transfer. I mean, you can really feel the card. Uh, you know, it's not getting hot at all. It's definitely warm, but it's not hot like a lot of other cards. Um, so it's it's really efficient card. Now, to be fair, obviously I don't have the fastest uh, 1070 out there. If you guys have seen that video when I did the overclock, I did not get like some crazy silicon lottery winner. So uh, my card doesn't overclock really high right now. I'm basically just running 100 over on the GPU, and uh, I think 400 on the on the memory. So uh, that being said, let's go ahead and take the card out. We'll do the uh, swap. And uh, and then we'll do some you know some more stress testing I guess. All right. Are you listening?
All right guys, so as you can see, the install went pretty easy. Uh, this was my first time installing, uh, actually taking apart a graphics card in general. I would compare the uh, skill set level maybe to be, if you can replace a CPU, then you can take your graphics card apart. It was really easy, just a bunch of screws, replacing the thermal paste, putting those adhesive uh, heat pads on, and then putting it all back together. Cooling pads, whatever you want to call them. Um, so as far as performance goes, now that I have the card back in my machine, I've been running the stress test for about an hour and I'm getting about 52, 53 degrees Celsius. Um, the last test I was running initially, I was getting up to 55, 56 degrees Celsius. So the card definitely is running cooler. Uh, granted, I haven't been running it for an hour and a half or two hours like I was the, the, uh, the other the card pre-install, I guess you'd say, uh, but I don't think it's really going to get too much hotter. So um, that being said, I think that the, the little mod that they're providing here, uh, it, it, I mean, if you have the card, you may as well order the parts because it doesn't cost you anything or, you know, reach out to them and see if you want to do a swap if you're not comfortable doing that install. Um, at the very least, do the, the BIOS update. For me, I'm probably, I'm probably going to do the BIOS update, but I'm not in a rush to do it because, again, I'm not overclocking my card super high. only have the 100 mega, megahertz overclock on the GPU and the 500 on the, rant, on the memory. So, uh, for me, I'm not really getting high temps anyways. If I was getting like 70s or 80s, then yeah, it would probably be a bigger deal, but it's really not. So, uh, bottom line for this video, uh, anybody who's got a 1070, I don't think that this mod is really like critical. If you want to do it, it's kind of a fun little DIY, uh, especially if you've never done it before. Again, it doesn't cost you anything. You just need basic tools like a screwdriver. It came with all the thermal paste and parts that you need. Uh, and of course, you need like, uh, what is it, like 90% isopropic alcohol or something with a high uh, percentage. So, all right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to hit the thumbs up on the way out. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, don't forget to leave a comment below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, you got to hit that subscribe button, follow along, help the growth of the channel. And until next time, guys. This is Ben Joe's Tech. I'll see ya.